Well, hello everybody, and welcome to Keefy75 Games. I am Keefy, and I've had a lot of people request that I do a how to refund your money for a game on PlayStation Network. I'm gonna briefly run through this, all right? You wanna get to where I am, which is PlayStation support, okay? And the way to do that is you click the link that I will have linked in the description below, okay? Or you can just get to it any other way you'd like. But once you get to it, you want to go to PlayStation support okay and like I said it will be linked in the description so you click on that it's gonna take you to this page here which is the PlayStation support page now once you get here you want to go down to where it says browse category and you want to click on PlayStation store and refunds don't click on any of these other ones because it's not gonna take you where you need to go so once you click on PlayStation store and refunds it's gonna take you to this next screen which there's payments purchases in store refunds and vouchers and pre-orders obvious choice here is refunds once you get to the refunds okay bottom line here is you want to get to a live agent you're going to get like multiple choice answers and you need to pick the right sequence of these answers in order to get to a live agent if you don't the chat bot is basically going to say hey there's nothing i can do and uh have a nice day okay and on top of that the only way to get a refund from sony one is if you've never downloaded and played the game to begin with so this is where the problem lies if you've already downloaded gta and you've played it technically they're not going to give you a refund okay but on the next page we'll get into it a little bit more but technically the only way around that which there is a walk around is if the game is faulty okay and by faulty the game is broken it don't work and in this case san andreas is broken so technically it should be considered faulty right wrong i tried this already okay i contacted support and we spoke and they told me that there was nothing that they could do i said but the game is faulty they said yes but the term faulty in the playstation you know policy pamphlet whatever it is they use they said that that is a gray area so there's a lot of things that faulty could mean so anyways they denied me so hopefully you guys will have a better outcome or a better turnaround i'm gonna continue to do this until either one they give me a refund or they get sick of me doing it and give me a refund but don't give up if it doesn't work the first try keep trying Hopefully, eventually, you will get an agent that will refund your money, okay? So now, moving along, if you scroll down, you can see these things. It says, cancel, uh, manage purchases, how to check PlayStation Store transactions. You don't want to do anything here. You want to go to requesting a PS Store refund. So you click on that, and now it's going to show you the guidelines. Um, and what you want to pick here, which is going to be necessarily the same thing we picked with the chat bot, is refund for games and add-ons, okay? And now if you read this, this is their policy is here. You can see that. It just basically says full games, downloadable content, in-game consumables, and season passes fall under this category. If you have bought something on the PlayStation Store but have changed your mind about this purchase, you may be able to request request a refund now I cannot stress this enough do not say you changed your mind if you say you changed your mind about this purchase you will instantly lose you will not get anything you'll be basically the chat bot will say bye so make sure you guys follow this tutorial exactly the way I do it in order to get to a live agent okay so in addition to the refund procedures summarized below you may have additional rights under applicable law nothing in the summary below limits or replaces any such rights under local law to check if you are eligible for a refund, please follow these instructions on our refund chat bot. If you prefer, you can read the full PlayStation Store cancellation policy. And if you guys just want to briefly, you know, scroll through that, you can. And then it says, after purchasing this type of content through the PlayStation Store, you have 14 days from purchase to request a refund. If you have started to download or stream the purchased content, you will not be eligible for a refund unless the content is faulty that is the walk around right there the content is faulty now with san andreas being broken and it's not working 
I have been in talks. I have emailed them proof. I've sent them the link to my video that you guys are all commenting on. And they still denied me when I showed them proof that this game is broken and won't load. And I will continue to try to get my refund as I do tell you guys to do the same. Okay? Don't give up. Keep on them eventually hopefully they give you a refund so what we're gonna do now here is you're gonna click on the refund chat bot okay and it's gonna take you to this page that i already did the way we're gonna do this is i'm just gonna show you guys because i already did this the first thing you say is it's gonna ask you hi i'm playstation support bot can i help you with a playstation star refund request you click yes and then it says, all right, let's get you started. If it looks like you are the eligible for a refund, I'll transfer you to an agent to assist you further. That's what I was saying before. They will determine whether or not you get to a live agent. And the way to do that is follow exactly what I have here on the screen, okay? And then it's going to ask you, are you the owner of this account for PlayStation Network that was charged? You click yes. Perfect. Can you tell me why you want a refund? Now this here is going to determine whether you get a live agent or you are going to get kicked to the curb. So when they give you the option to pick an answer, pick return, game, or add-on, okay? And then it's going to take you to this. Okay, can you give us a little bit more info? then pick it's not working properly then it's going to say the fastest way to get help with your refund request is via chat the wait time is usually only a few minutes now the wait time can be anywhere from five minutes to an hour depending on the congestion of the network and how many people are trying to do this when i did it it took about 10 minutes and i was with a live agent so now on the bottom here it says the live agent you will need your support id to assist you your support id is blah 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 don't disregard this he probably won't ask you for it but just in case copy it and then if he asks you for it you can just conveniently paste it in chat okay and then after that you're going to pick connect me to chat okay and then it's gonna say all right let's get you started if it looks like you are eligible um i'll transfer you to an agent to get you further are you the owner of this account this is because i'm back in here again so after you get to this it's going to be the end all right so once you have this done and you have it copied you're going to click yes because it said connect me to chat i've already done this so it's a little bit of a head so what we're going to do here is all right let's get you started if it looks like you're eligible blah 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 then i'm going to click yes i am the owner of this account okay well conveniently it's going to walk me through it again so i can show you exactly what to pick okay so perfect can you tell me why you want a refund and then like i said you click return gamer add-on and then it says okay can you give us a little more information do not pick i've changed my mind pick it's not working properly okay and then again as you see it's going to take you to this which is the end then it's going to say the live agent will need your support id to assist you and just do exactly what i said earlier copy it and then paste it if you need to and then from here you got two alternatives you can call them which if you click this option it will give you a phone number and you can call them some people may prefer to talk live to somebody that way you can kind of persuade them into giving you your refund you can give them a little bit more in detail things and they can hear your emotion is the word i want to say so that may help some people i prefer to click connect me to chat just because i hate talking to people because sometimes i cannot hold my anger and i don't want to say things i don't mean so i would click connect me to chat and then once it says connect me to chat you will be put into a prompt where it's going to tell you there are so many people waiting to talk to a live agent in front of you and it will be a ticker and it will just when it gets down to zero you will be immediately connected to the agent all right guys i hope this helps everybody it should and if this video did indeed help you guys please click that like button subscribe if you're not already and also make sure to click the notification bell so that you'll be notified notified whenever i upload a video in the future or even when i go live okay and i go live between the hours of 8 and 8 30 a.m eastern standard time and again at night at 9 p.m eastern standard time with the exception of friday nights and monday nights i don't stream at night at all i do stream in the morning but not at night
All right, guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys all in the next one. I'll keep you 75. Peace.